Okay, this is uh, the old circuit board you can see there. It's a hole right in it. Um, a little dusty, other than that, doesn't appear to be any issues with it. Well, I say that. There's a little fuse there, mini fuse, I think, mini amps. But don't quite know what was happening there then to cause that. But basically, it was actually a bit, a bit hard work. A couple of screws, um, that one and that one at the bottom, came out easy. But you've got to choose the right screwdriver, of course, and I'm not a professional. So those two, top left, top right, came out hard. There's the screws there, and the fuse from the plug around the corner there. Um, so, what I'm going to do now, as you can see how it looks now, is put that back in place, put the screws in, reattach all these cables, possibly using my first video as a guide, but most of them seem like they'll go straight in, and hopefully that will fix the problem and we'll have a working boiler again. Okay, now the screwdriver, again, make sure you use the right screw bit. Now, shouldn't be anything too difficult, not particularly, not specialist screws at all. This is, well, I call this the hand grenade because, you know, it looks like a little bit like a hand grenade. Now you can get these in a pound shop or dollar store or euro shop. You can see there's a lot of bits and that's plenty for most people doing home DIY. This is another thing I got on the internet, just a few pounds. I actually don't use it much but it was just a few pounds. Uh, and this is the screw, the, the bit that it goes in, well, not this, I don't know what you call that, the screwdriver base that the bits go in. This is the one I used to remove the main screws and I would use, to use main screws on the uh, unit itself. 